Welcome to ViewTheRace.com. This is the Manchester City Half Marathon from Manchester, New Hampshire. The race starts on Elm Street, right near Veterans Park. Soon after you start, go to the right side of the road as you'll be taking a quick right onto Granite Street. Now, as soon as you take this right on Granite Street, the road's going to kick down sharply. It's pretty steep downhill. You're going to go straight through the first set of lights and then move over to the right as you're going to be taking a sharp right at the bottom of the hill right onto Commercial Street. Once you're on Commercial Street, the road will flatten out. Now the key to this race is to be conservative in the first few miles of the race. The first few miles of the race are relatively easy with no major hills and you definitely don't want to go faster than you intended those first few miles. Save your legs for the challenging hills to come. Just a couple little bumps in the road on Commercial Street till we get to the end. Now once you get to the end of Commercial Street, the road's going to kick up just a bit. And you're going to take a left onto River Road. Stay to the left. Just a little dip in the road. Cross through mile two. As you continue on River Road, the road's going to start to get pretty hilly. There's a couple of tough hills on River Road. First one being right here. This is your first little test. Tough little uphill. It's not overly long. It's going to flatten out a little bit, but you're still going slightly uphill. A little bit of rough pavement on the right hand side to be aware of. And the road's going to continue to go up. As you come down this little downhill, you're going to come around the corner and then you're going to be faced with a very challenging climb. This is a tough hill. Just before mile four, this hill just keeps going up. Really tough climb through here. This is your first real test. As you cross through mile four, you're going to take a right onto Union Ave, or Union Street. And the road's going to still keep going up. It's going to flatten out just a bit, but you're still going uphill. This is a tough stretch on the course. Now the road's going to kick up even a little bit more. Now once you get close to the top of the hill, you're going to take a left on Campbell Street and then you're going to get a break. There's a nice downhill as soon as you get on Campbell Street. Don't go overly fast on this downhill, just have a nice steady pace and enjoy the fact that you're not going uphill. You're going to like this part of the course, just a nice break from that uphill. About halfway down Campbell Street, you're going to take a quick right onto Juniper, and then you're going to go on a very steep but short downhill, and you're going to go right into Livingston Park. Now, this is a really cool part of the course. For the next half a mile, you're going to run on dirt trails in Livingston Park. Now, Livingston Park is not completely flat. There are some rolling sections inside the park that are a little bit challenging, but it's, it's a very interesting place to run. Doors Pond is on your left hand side. You'll be able to see it through some breaks in the trees occasionally. And it's just a nice different part of the course to run through the woods. Defin definitely a very unique and interesting part of this course. Now as you get towards the end of the park, you're going to go up a little bit of a hill. And when you get to the top, you're going to go out down a nice little downhill and cross a bridge. And you're going to work your way around and then exit the park.
And as you exit the park, you're gonna go straight. And then you're gonna go up a little bit of a hill. Tough little uphill here. And then you're gonna take a left. Now after you take this left on Tory Road, the road's still going slightly uphill. You're gonna work your way around this neighborhood. And now you're gonna take a right on Belmont Street. Now you're gonna be on Belmont Street for about over a mile. Now Belmont Street is just big sweeping hills. You're gonna have big uphills and big downhills, just big sweeping rolling hills. The good news is you're not gonna have any turns for the next mile, but the bad news is you're gonna have, have to go up a lot of little tough hills. The key is you gotta survive, survive these uphills and then take advantage of these downhills if you can. Nice downhill section through here. As you come close to the end of Belmont Street, you're gonna take a left on Reservoir Ave. And the road's gonna start kicking up sharply. This is gonna be a really tough uphill. You're gonna have to pull yourself up this hill. As you cross through mile eight. As you come close to the top of the hill, you're gonna take a left and it's actually gonna go up a little bit more. This is a tough stretch on the course. Now once you crest the top of this hill, you're gonna have a sharp but short downhill and then you can take a quick right onto Mammoth Road. Now right after this median, you're gonna take a left and at a cutout through the sidewalk and you're gonna go down a very good downhill right down Merritt Nyberg Lane. And right at the end of this road, you're gonna take a quick right on Bridge Street. So a lot of quick ups and quick downs in the last little bit. Once you get on Bridge Street, the road's gonna, there won't be any major climbs on Bridge Street, but it's gonna return to the rolling hills. But no big steep downhills or uphills on Bridge Street. Take a right, right on Mission Avenue, and now you're going to go through a little neighborhood section. As we approach mile 10. Take a quick left on Farmer Street, and then you're going to take a quick right on Broadway Ave. Now at the bottom of this short hill, we're going to have the short downhill. We're going to take a quick right on Hanover. And now once we're on Hanover, we're gonna be on Hanover Street all the way to Elm Street. So almost the remainder of the race is on Hanover Street. Then we're just gonna have a 10th of a mile as soon as we get on Elm. So Elm Street, again, has some big sweeping hills. Again, the good news is we won't have to do it. We won't have any more turns on the course. We're just gonna go straight all the way to Elm Street. Really need to dig deep through this stretch. The last mile of this course is a very steep downhill leading into a very flat finish. So you really just need to survive till mile 12. This next mile is crucial in the race. If you can survive to mile 12, you have it made because the rest of the race is downhill or flat. Unfortunately, right before mile 12, we have to go up one of the toughest hills we've gone up in quite some time. You can see the hill in the distance. Once we go down this little downhill, you gotta pull yourself up this tough uphill right here. This is a really tough climb. It's not overly long, but it's a tough one. But once you crest the top, you know you only have a mile to go, and now you have this big downhill. 
This is a really fast downhill. If you have anything left, this is going to really help you get some speed at the end of the race. Now once you get to the bottom of the hill, the road's going to really flatten out. And you can have a nice flat finish. Just going to keep going straight until Hanover Street dead ends at Elm Street and then you're going to take a left on Elm. Take a left on Elm and then you're going to sprint to the finish line. Thank you for viewing the race at viewtherace.com. <laughs>